Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna be going through and I'm gonna be building out my perfect melee portfolio. So what does that even mean? Earlier this week, I went ahead and made the melee stocks group where you can purchase shares and sell shares of your favorite melee characters. Okay, so how does that even work? So if you think Sheik is gonna go up in value, you think Sheik's gonna do well in tournament, Jmook just won collision, you wanna buy Sheik. So you can do that for all of Melee's 26 characters here. Right now, honestly, if I'm looking at this, Sheik is super undervalued. At $66, 66, Sheik is in a position where you can make a lot of money here. A lot of big upside potential on Sheik. And we're at 66. We're relative. We're basically at the bottom for Sheik. I don't think Sheik is getting any lower than this. I'm buying. I'm buying Sheik. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description here if you want to get it. You want to get on these nice stocks early. I mean. These are some of the best financial instruments for you to grow your portfolio. Really something to consider out in this economy. Definitely. As the banks collapse and as uh, our world enters financial ruin through Armageddon, you need to be holding Bowser stock. Like again, I'm thinking I'm seeing Marth at 68. It's funny because it looks like it crashed sort of around yesterday, 7 p.m., sort of around the time. Zane lost a collision, which is funny because obviously Zane still gave it second, right? So Marth's still a very good character, but it just shows you how reactive the market is to those to those types of events. So I, I, I'm getting in on Marth, I think. I'm getting in. So right now my portfolio, I think, is looking good. I haven't made any, any profit yet. We're looking good. This is a strong portfolio, minimizing risk, maximizing upside potential. I mean, you really can't get anything much better than what, what I'm giving you here. And that's why you come to me for your financial advice. That's why you like, that's why you subscribe. You know that I'm gonna give you the best financial advice when it comes to melee stonks. And so part of this too, is you gotta remember, you know, sometimes things might be overvalued. So is there anything that's overvalued right now? I'm thinking, do I think any of these are gonna get much lower? I mean, look at this right here. Roy at 43, Kirby at 42. I think these characters are significantly different. I think Ro Kirby is worse than Roy for sure. Let's take a look. I'm buying some no shares. I'm bearish on Kirby, I think in this, in this environment, in this culture, with the Fed rates what they are, I don't see I don't see Kirby outperforming. Buying some no shares, I'm bringing the shares down. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Who who is doing well? Let's take a look at Jason's portfolio here. Let's sort of see what he's what some of the market insiders are looking at. What are what these people see? As you can see, Jason has had a very profitable run here in the melee stonks. This is what you want to do. You want to find traders who are making the types of trades you want to get into. You should look at politicians. You want to look at people in the community. Community. What do they know that I don't? Right. So someone like Jason here, I don't know what his role is, but he's clearly on to something. Look at him. Oh, he's anti-DK. Now that's a hot take. I know there's a lot of community sentiment, a lot of interest in Donkey Kong right now. I mean, the renaissance is happening. Donkey Kong is the best he's ever been, but Jason thinks there's there's uh, there's downside here. 63%. That's the price. A lot of shorting on Donkey Kong. I think Donkey Kong has been one of these 102 trades. I mean, look at the volume. It's clearly a very polarizing stock. I mean, people think it'll go to the moon. I, I've seen it, you know, on, before I even made this video. I've been watching the market, really getting a, a feel for how it works. The ups, the downs, the buying, the selling. And I saw Donkey Kong at 87, as high as 87. I mean, look at this, 87. And it held for, what was this, a few hours. And then, and you know, then it came back down. But I mean, this that just shows you the type of volatility that happens with the DK stock. I mean, you see, right now my, my portfolio is all blue chips. Let's get into something a little bit riskier. You know, DK. I'm really thinking about DK here. Do I short DK in this economy with the imminent collapse of SVB? I know Donkey Kong and his team have been really smart at hoarding their bananas outside of those uh, affected uh, banks. I mean, Donkey Kong could organize a banana run and really get some of these banks going. So I, I think there's a lot of potential here because you know Justin bought in no shares at, at 83, 80. So he saw what I saw and you know really wanted to capitalize on that, on that difference. But what happens when Justin sells? I mean, Justin, if Justin takes profits here, this is gonna go up. This is gonna go up. I'm putting a bet in that Justin's taking profits. That's it for the stocks right now. I'm gonna report back in a day or two 
um, whenever I feel like I'm making money here, I'm gonna let you guys know how my portfolio is doing. Everyone, we're doing a little bit of an update on the old, uh, the old market. Um, let's take a look where, how have we been doing? What's been going on? How's my portfolio performing? I mean, truthfully, I'm thinking this might be one of, if not truthfully, the best portfolio you've ever seen when it comes to melee stonk. So let's take a look. Okay, we're down a little bit, but as you can see, you know, we've had some, pr we had, we were up 19, up 19. That's big profit right there. I sold my position in DK. I, the exact thing that the, I said in the video happened, one of the short sellers sold their position, DK bumped up to 75 and I sold to capitalize. I got in early, I got out high, buy low, sell high. I mean, it's textbook folks. I'm showing you all of the best tips. I'm giving you what I can only describe as incredible, impeccable, top tier financial advice. But don't judge me on my winners. Judge me by my losers because I have so few. One big one right now is Captain Falcon, but I still am believing in strongly in Captain Falcon. Folks, if you're watching this right now, you need to understand where we are in the world right now. We're on the verge of an imminent financial collapse. The two biggest bank failures of all time happened the last week. That's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. If you want to insulate yourself, your finances, your mortgage, your family, the shirt you have on your back, you need to buy Falcon oh. stock right now. Get in now. 59%. What a steal. Truthfully, I can't even imagine a better price for this. Get in now. I might get in more. I have what? I have 13. Let me buy some more Falcon stock. I'm going to buy some more. Look at that, I just bought more Falcon. You know why? Because I believe in the stock, we like the stock, it's going to the moon. We have had some other losers. I need to be honest here, we've had some big losers. Link, Link, Link is not doing well. Link is not doing, not doing well. I thought maybe we had a sh good, you know, short run with Link, didn't happen. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get out now. Oh, I'd lose six. How people are still sleeping on Yoshi is incredible and beyond me. You have to truthfully be both blind and just truly, like, just so unaware of the market to not see the opportunity you have here with Yoshi. I mean, 61. Think about it. What? The C tier ETF is trading at 58. The second best player in the world plays Yoshi. Let me just say that one more time. The second best player in the world is the premier premium permanent Yoshi. How is anyone not getting into this? You got to get in. Pause the video right now. Get into Yoshi. Buy Yoshi. I obviously have a position in Yoshi just for transparency's sake, but obviously it's a good stock. We like the stock. Get into Yoshi. This is my element right here. Trading uh, melee stocks. Uh, there is nothing I'm better at. Let me just reinvest. If you want to keep track of my portfolio, the leaderboards, or want to get in here and start trading for yourself, like I mentioned earlier, the link is going to be in the description. Definitely get in here. One thing I'm learning is that, you know, the market is ruthless. Now, this is the big leagues. You know, people say, oh, S&P 500, Apple, Google, uh, Microsoft. No, I'm trading Captain yes. Falcon. No, I'm trading Link stock, okay? I'm the real trader here. By every technical factor, this portfolio is going to perform outstandingly. It might even be one of the greatest, you're gonna study this, you know, with some of the greats. People like Warren Buffet, Charlie Mungbean, uh, Jordan Belmont. I mean, all of these folks, they're, I mean, I'm one of the best. Like I said, that's why you like, that's why you subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you want to see any more Melee stock tips, you know, check the link in the description, go to the group, start trading, because you're going to need to get in here now.